everyone. Hello, Welcome. I'm Sheer Lazar. <laughs> yeah. I'm wow. already screwing up. Wow. No, what, what'll so happen quickly. is that'll be just one of those things where you just throw right in the, in the beginning to show we had a good time yeah. filming. Yeah. And then we'll start right into the interview. <laughs> Welcome to the Partners Project. I am with Kasim G. We are in Venice, California. So we're in Venice because this is where you do a lot of your videos. This is my home base, my, my headquarters. <laughs> it's a great place, like any given moment, you've got guys doing heroin and drugs behind the wall right over here. Somebody's getting killed in an alleyway. As it's we speak. It's a Venice. melting pot of culture. Yeah, I love Venice Beach. It's uh, the second biggest tourist attraction in California. Number one is Disneyland, but second is Venice Beach, which is a little different than Disneyland. You can't buy drugs at Disneyland. Can you? Unless you know the right people, probably. Thank Welcome you. Thanks for Shira. having us, really. We, we really appreciate this. No problem. All right, so let's get into how you got started on YouTube. You guys are, are diehard Raider fans? Yeah, Oakland. You guys gonna you guys gonna shank me? You guys keister in a shiv right now? It's about... Three years ago, I just started filming my family, my kids and my wife. We started doing just daily vlogs. Oh, really? And, uh, you know, I moved from Idaho to California, and it's just been great ever since. Wait, that sounds really familiar. Oh, really? Wait, is oh, that... that's, Shay, that's Shay's life. Yeah. That's Shay Carl's life. I do that all the time. I'm sorry. I do very different things. I'm, I'm really into Mac and Apple. Uh, I go to electronic shows and... You know, some people follow me on Twitter. I have over a million sub Twitter followers. I love Steve Jobs. Uh, he's so hot. Hey, that sounds familiar too. How do you mean? I mean, isn't that like? Oh, that's that I just Steve. Yes, I mean. Huh. I, I know you're not. Maybe. Like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I don't do those. I do. I do different. Yeah, I do stupid. <laughs> I do stupid videos that nobody watches. <laughs> no, you do funny videos. I mean, you I'm are up. the comedian of YouTube. We're here with two hot sluts on Abbott Kinney to see what they think about what's happening with the recession. Would you say that? I, I wouldn't say that, but, but thank you. There's lots of funny people. Um, you know who's really funny? Uh, Mr. Guitar Man. He is. And you wouldn't expect it from his boring, terrible videos, but he's a really funny guy. Does he inspire you? No. Uh, <laughs> the only people that inspire me are people that aren't on the internet. So 2006. 2006, uh, October. The, the YouTube name Kasim G was registered and it changed internet forever. I had a mini facelift in my third news job. I like the way your face looks. Thanks. I also like cougars and cats and lions and things like that. I was just doing stand-up on the weekends. Okay. I was working retail full-time. I was doing improv comedy mm -hmm. and it was going terribly. It was all going terribly. <laughs> and I thought I could never leave this job that I, I've been I worked for 10 years. You worked retail for 10 years? 10 years, and I was I was just so burnt out on it, and then I finally decided to um, just let go of all that and try giving YouTube a shot. Hello, I'm the new iPhone. And I'm Jane Lynch. One time I was left at a bar in Redwood City and sold on the internet for $5,000. Is this someone else's story? Is this real? This is my real story. <laughs> I would do stand-up on the weekends for like, in a Chinese restaurant yeah. filled with like 20 people. Half of them weren't there to even see me, let alone see comedy. I would go home and then I'd make a YouTube video and that would get a lot more views. And I thought, I can still do comedy, but maybe I'll just post it online. Mm -hmm. I also studied acting for a little while too, but the comedy is where it started. When you just started on YouTube, I mean, did you know other people? You know who got me into YouTube was uh, a gentleman by the name of Corey, Mr. Safety Williams. Okay. He got me into YouTube and People like him and Philip DeFranco. Have you heard of him? He's not that big of a guy, you know. No, he's he's a, he's a big guy. Um, <laughs> he he also helped me out, and that was the first time I did a California on was for one of um, Phil's shows. Oh, really? In the meantime, I helped start a production company with Shay Carl and Lisa, and now we are making YouTube videos for a living, which is really fun. And that's of course called yeah. the Station. Yeah, the Station or Maker Studios is the name of the studio. The Station started as this place where we all kind of came together and made videos and it evolved trying to make it a place where people can make a living mm -hmm. and not have to work retail for 10 years. It's okay. It's terrible. What was the first video that you feel blew you up? I think it was probably the first California on. <laughs> Rinse your anger off, Miss California, says metal ball guy in he Venice Beach. I didn't say that. No, he said it. He said it. He, he said it. <laughs> no, that's okay. He said it. He said it. We have Dude, it. We have it. We have it, right? Yeah. I, did, I did a California on 
about Miss California. It's okay. called California and Miss California, and I came came here to do it. I borrowed Corey's camera, and I had my roommate, who didn't know anything about shooting, mm -hmm. shoot it. And you can tell because of the whole video, it's like blown out, and there's like, yeah, you could barely tell there's humans in the video. Got pretty popular, and then I just started doing them almost weekly. So let's go through the different types of videos that you have. Yeah, I make California on videos, which are just man on the street videos. Another one of the segments is street music. Nice Peter, who's a, another guy that works with us at Maker Studios, he came on board and, and I took what he did, which was musical improv comedy, and then um, said, yeah, I could probably do that too, and then we took it to the street. You're just on your 15 minute break. From your management position at Ralph's grocery store. Which you worked so hard to get it now. You realize that it's taking time away from your friends and family and it might not be worth it even though you make a lot more money. Your towels are gay. Just kind of came out and did kind of what we do with Californians, which is interacting with people, but really just making fun of them via music. The series called Going Deep, where I interviewed porn stars uh, in character, which is really fun. Does size matter to you? in the bedroom? There's a fine point, yes. I, do they know that you're messing with them? I think now they do, but the first one we ever shot, it wasn't, that whole thing just happened and it wasn't supposed to be like that. Um, she didn't know it was gonna be like that. There was a lot of apologizing I had to do, but it was funny and that's what matters. It doesn't matter who you step on and crush. Along the way. Along the way, but as long as you make funny content. And as long as I'm not the one being stepped on. Makes sense. It's good, it's my system. And I just have to book the right people and do the research. We filmed some sketch comedy that we posted uh, a few weeks ago called Corporate Song and Dance. We're just trying to make a lot higher top tier sort of content mm -hmm. along with all the other shit that I do. What's your favorite video that you've ever done? Uh, I don't. I don't do that. You don't do that? I, I don't like my videos. Out of the, all the series that I do, I like the going deeps because I have more fun making them. Because it really is as awkward as it looks, but maybe more awkward. You have to open your mouth to make out. I like other people's videos a lot more. Yeah, so whose videos do you like? I like, I think, Good Neighbor. I like Mystery Guitar Man videos. I like Shay Carl vlogs. And of course, anything that uh, Miss Hannah Minx does. Have you heard, have you seen Yeah, her? yeah, totally. Yeah, I think she's got a lot of talent. I can just watch her videos, just put them on repeat, and just watch <laughs> them for hours, her videos. <laughs> Do you have any comedians that inspired you growing up? I sure did, Shira. Uh, <laughs> when I was younger, my parents, um, they, they watched a lot of comedy. They were comedians themselves, as really? far as just characters, I think. Okay. So I learned a lot from them. They would love watching people like Richard Pryor, Bill Cosby, Eddie Murphy, any of these people. But currently, I think people like Louis C.K., mm -hmm. I get a lot of inspiration from. He's what comedy should be right now. Hmm. You're welcome, Louie. What's your point of view? I don't know, I'm very sarcastic. I'm really good at finding the faults in people, like really quickly. Oh. Like, your hair looks terrible today. I look for people's faults, I like to exploit them, and uh, it's just based on very deep insecurities that I have as a person. I was like a foreign kid with glasses who was goofy. Living in Southern California, you're gonna learn your sense of humor mm -hmm. pretty quickly. And what do your parents think of what you do? They're, they're very supportive. Mm -hmm. Now that they know that there's a, a career in it. When I first started doing stand-up comedy and stuff like that, they, they were a little hesitant because, you know, they, they have a strong belief in, in education. I was enrolled in community college, but I just, you know, I was just taking classes just to take classes until I took a theater class and then an improv class and it just snowballed and I just got into it. I couldn't get enough of it. I still can't. I'm very thirsty for comedy. I feel like we shouldn't separate actors from YouTubers because essentially, I'm an actor. There's You're a lot of actors. Artists, We're all right? artists, and we just happen to have a, a fan base on on the internet. The goal is to to be able to make our own movies and write our own TV show pilots and stuff like that, and make it on our own. People like Fred, whether you like Fred or not, he did something nobody else could do, which was, you know, prove that you can make your viewership happen anywhere, whether it's on the internet or on TV or whatnot. People will watch you if they like you. So even though you have an audience that's bigger than some shows and, and some kind of traditional actors. Do you feel yeah. people still discredit all this stuff? Yeah, people do, and it's just a matter of time because it's so new, you know? Um, you know, Charles Trippi's slogan is called Internet Kill Television. I don't know if we'll kill TV, but there will definitely be a, a merging. And it'll be eventually be to the point where your favorite show might be on the internet only. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like this new revolution that we're all part of, and, and uh, 
everyone is a part of it. Anyone that watches internet videos or, or has a, a, a favorite person that they like to watch, you know, it's great. Why you wear wolf shirts? And oh, you always oh. give the same answer, but I need another answer. The wolf shirt thing, I guess, was, um, I like wolves. I always have. Yeah. And then I, I had a shirt that I wore, and I thought it could be, I could just wear it, mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a, my second California on video. And I remember reading the comments and being like, all the, all anyone is talking about is the shirt I'm wearing. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. So I just bought another wolf shirt, and then I bought another one, and another one, and then I just kept buying wolf shirts. How many wolf shirts do you have? I think I have 20. What are your goals? What do you want to? I don't know. I just do? want to keep. I, I want to keep being successful in the media. Mm -hmm. You know, I would. I, I definitely this year want to start doing stand up again. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to make. I want to just make. Some, great content for people I don't know I don't know if I have anything specific other than that but just to not have to work a, a retail job anymore <laughs> you want to be on people's TV I want to be on your TV alright guys well Kasim signing it's, off it's Kasim G pleasure. and Shira's Bang signing off <laughs> well Kasim yeah. it's been a pleasure hey thanks so much for having me thanks so much I for think, being I here I think this is a great thing you're doing I appreciate that I just that's something I have to say I don't necessarily Thanks. mean it, but uh, well, yeah. we couldn't do it without you. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck in the future. Thank you, and thanks to all of you for watching. Stay tuned next week. We'll be back with more of the Partners Project. Bye. Toodles. <laughs> Thank you so much to Kasim G for being part of the Partners Project. You can subscribe to him right here. Subscribe to us right here. For outtakes from this episode, and there are many, just click right here. And of course, come back next week for another Partners Project. Bye.